Okay guys, watch this. Cop am, it worked. <laughs> Look, I'm not into the news right now, I'm too lazy. Listen, you can't tell me what- Fine, you know what, just stay home and make yourself some tea. Sorry about that, I was on a phone call with the editor. Anyway, welcome back to, um, uh, damn I don't know what it's called again. But never mind, let's just get into it. We've just come back from the road show we did yesterday. And while we were away, the studio has been given a Christmas makeover. I mean, just look at this place. It looks amazing. We got three Christmas trees at the side, standing on top of three blue concrete blocks. The backdrop you see behind me has given a Christmas makeover too. It looks more like a cozy living room on Christmas night. Looks nice isn't it? And if you look out the window, there is a snowman with his son in a snowy room. They're carefully watching the events in the studio. But wait, there is another snowman in here. Cool. However, the editor is currently not here at the moment because he caught a cold, so we got our travel expert Zoe Davy to fill in for him. Hello there. Now, let's not waste our time and begin the news. A man uses TNT block launchers to blow up a house in Mundell Land yesterday. The explosion was so big it caused the house to be completely destroyed, damaging nearby buildings, and killing at least four people or more. Here's Robert Gilchrist. In Mundelland, a TNT block launcher causes a major disaster in a small city. The explosion was so big it destroyed many nearby buildings, killing four people, and injuring many others. In the science center, all experiments were postponed indefinitely until the building has been rebuilt. This woman shows me the damaged pub. Uh, hello? Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> Uh, okay, what the hell was that? Anyway, it's zombie apocalypse live report time with, wait for it, Alex. I'm back, yup, I have disappeared for a while, but I have finally returned. So yeah, I am current- Wait a minute, what the hell are you doing here? How did you get into the house when I asked you not to? Sorry, I didn't listen. Oh, forget it. Let's just walk outside. Gee, things haven't changed much since I went on a break. Everything's pretty much the same. Oh great. Here we go again. Ow, who's doing this? Oh nice one, nice one. I'm a victim. Prepare to die. No, you. Dang, why did it take that hard for me to kill that zombie? Bing 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 bing. Villain detected. Villain detected. Killing Alex now. Excuse me, is there any food here? Eat the spider eye. But I can't, I would get po- Just eat it. Finally, a pig. Give me the bacon. Give me the much. Oh sweet, that zombie just dropped a potato. I'm saved. Like hell you are. Come and get him, son. Nom 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 nom. Wait what? Why is that spider invisible? Is he okay? No 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 I can't die yet. Not yet. I wasn't ready. Do zombies even listen to me? Huh? What just happened? Oh wait. I survived the apocalypse. Woohoo. Hooray. I did it. I survived. So, the sun rose, the monsters are gone. And the village is now in peace again, Milton. Thank you Alex, I mean, wow. That was the first time that Alex survived a zombie apocalypse without dying. Anyway, on with the next report. A house siege ends in a shootout as police raid the building and arrests the hostage taker, and the family was rescued. However, a father had to be rushed to the hospital as he is treated for gunshot wounds. Here's footage about what happened. Nanananananisikatamatamtimi. Tabot tarpui. Snelluba 
わあ。ピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピュピ
This request from Maxim says, Sports Forecast. Why Sports Forecast? Should it be called Sports News instead? Oh, fine. Call it whatever you like. Thank you. All right, here is a report about the Parker Championship in Los Golem. In Los Golem, the finalists are getting ready on their last day of the Parker Championships. Their starting point is the church where they have to climb on the roof and beat the obstacles, but if they fall, they have to go back to the church and start over. Then, the players have to jump on these wooden pillars and try to make it to the finish line. Whoever makes it to the finish line the quickest will win. Alright you guys, I can do this. Ouch. I guess he didn't jump that far. No. Damn it, why can't I jump? This is impossible. Wow, he just jumped into the other roof. Not bad. Yes, I did it. However, Steven wasted his time jumping into the pub roof, so he finished third. What? I'm going to win this. And Katie did the same trick that Steven did. Ouch, what? No, why didn't I jump that high? Yes, let's go. Woohoo, I made it. Damn. Katie's time was way longer than Steven's. She overtook Steven's place and becomes third. By me! Now getting night time, and it's Chris's turn to shine. Can he win? And do this. I'm gonna make my family so proud. He's done it. He won the championship without even falling. He's won. Oh my god. Yes. I did it. We can't believe you would do it. We're so proud of you. GG dad, GG. Horse, 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 horse. We're no strangers to rule. You know the rules. It's time to horse. I hate my life. Gosh, that horse was weird. But heck, at least Chris won. GG to him. And here comes another request. This time it's from Sunny Gilly. It says, Zombie Apocalypse with Alex. Again, can it wait until next time? Do as you're told, young lady. Okay, 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 fine. I'm going. Right. So right now I am in a village that is located in a desert. I also heard that there is Match from Battle for Dream Island walking around the street for whatever reason. Wait, is this Grizona? Oh, don't tell me. More like goodbye, pal. Pow, pow, pow. I'm gonna smack you with a bone. The creeper guy is ready to kill you. I'm coming for you. Here it comes. Goodbye Alex. Did he just called me Alexa? Wow look. Skeleton versus skeleton. Oh crap. No 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 no. Not this time. Detected. Cheat work. Pew 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 pew. Close call. Help. Help. I'm getting hungry. Ha ha. I'm not gonna die as long as I got this OP sword. Eat that, losers. Guys, can you please give me food? Go check the chests, if you're brave enough. Why didn't you give me a- Sup? Finally, I found some carrots. I had to steal them from the farms. What? Now Alex died? I thought she survived last time. That's stupid. Alrighty then, this next request from Plotagonfan25 says, Interview with a witch that didn't got the Fujitsu virus. Finally, we found the only witch that is not random. Hallelujah. And here she is. Hello witch, are you familiar with the Fujitsu witch? Also known by many people as, the task is witch? All too well. I've known about her ever since she first started existing. She's queer. She's stupid. 
And she keeps saying nothing but the task is. Despite not people actually knowing what the task really is. It's her catchphrase. And she can say it all she wants to. She even hacked this news program twice. And I have to admit that she's evil. She also claims to have a criminal partner-in-law known as the task is bound from inanimate insanity. And she says the same catchphrase as her. I hope that which dies for good. T task is, I have a detected start Yuri Utsmartini. It is time for a battle. Bring it up. Uh-oh, I feel like there's a fight going on. Do I mind if I could stay here until this cools off? Sure. Die here, pussy. Die. 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 Die, 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 die. I will never ever want to close in eyes. Doof, 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 to promo kuzi kemi kiti tri zimiti miti si bita mana 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 no ua pa 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 na 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 mana. Doug, come on. Just die already. Yes. She dead. Phew. Thank goodness that weird witch is gone. Anyway. Back to the requests. This one from Pedro the Cool Maker 209 says, Milton accidentally teleported himself to another village. Huh? Wait what? Where am I? Why am I here? I shouldn't even teleport in the first place. Oh well at least I'm not in a village full of zombies. Hey! Uh oh. I have to get out of here. Jeez, I shouldn't even be in that house in the first place. And here's... Hey. Sorry, now it's my turn to read this request. Anyway, this next request from KJF Enterprises says, Travel Guide, Crezona. That's the same place we did the roadshow last time. I know that. Oh look, this request says that this travel guide will be presented by Tennis Ball from Battle for Dream Island. What? Even object show characters can present travel guides too? What's up with that? Just start the report, please. Fine, if you say so. Warning, the following travel guide was filmed after the roadshow. Okay, so right now I am at Krizona. The hottest settlements in Minnacracha. You can still see the stage in the audience area after the road show ended. I wish I was there. This is the lava pit where the contestant fell on it and died, along with the horse she rides on. And here was this house right here where Bubble got locked up by skeletons. This is also where Fan escaped his cage and did a runner. That weirdo has got away. We need to stop him before he causes more trouble. And here's the settlement's most popular landmark. The Desert Temple. We got inside and see what's in here. Yeah, you can still see the aftermath of the shaft explosion from one of those mini games. Krizona became a popular tourist attraction in Minnacracha, thanks to the fact that it never rains, nor it never snows, and it's always hot. However, the local government is recently under fire for not handling the drought crisis right, as it has been going on for many years. I tried to talk to a local government MP about where the water bottles are. Excuse me. Do you know where you're storing all those water bottles? Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. We have no idea where the water bottles are. But you said that Krizona is battling against the drought, so why isn't your local government doing anything about it? I mean, do you even know how long this drought has been going on? Listen, I want to reassure you that there's no drought here. We have water in farms so at least tourists can fill up their empty bottles with water when they see one. But that's not enough. Just tell me where are the water bottles? Oh. I get it now. However, just as before I was about to carry on exploring the place, this happened. What the? What's going on? Who's mocking around the time? But then, a few seconds later, monsters started appearing. Oh my god what is happening? I need to find a safe house to hide before they kill me. Phew, close one. Why are you here? How did you get here? Now what the hell just happened? 
Did tennis ball just die, or going insanely crazy, I don't know. And here's another request from, the same person that requested the travel guide thing. It says, zombie apocalypse live report with Microsoft Sam. Wow, what a good request. I thought Michael Picker requested it, but never mind. Sam. Hey there, it's Microsoft Sam. I am right now in Minecraft for some reason, so let me just get down from this church. Okay, everything looks peaceful, and nothing's happening. In case those zombies show up, I have to get the weapons and use them to kill the monsters. Wait, is there a blacksmith house around here? I have to find a chest that has weapons in it. Oh, no blacksmith here. I mean, where's that chest anyway? Evening all. Bingo, I got the weapons. Oh here we go. It's stuck the jitsu to my team in the photo. What the hell just happened to that zombie? Why did he speak like that? I mean, he had the same voice that natural Sam has. Oh crap, there's another. Die. Then, he's gone too. Oh, stop that you. Oh great, now we got an old zombie mob trying to kill me. I mean, what do I do? Okay, so off camera I found a pig and killed it just so I could get some pork chop. Now what the hell was that? What just happened? Why did I got teleported out of the village? Oh wait, now I teleported to another village. That's weird. That baby zombie just dropped a carrot. I mean, what? Whoa, did you see that? I killed a skeleton with a single shot. That bow is OP. Now who the heck is that little dude? I didn't even know that skeleton had a son. Surprise, Pog. Oh my god, how did that creeper get into that house? I have to kill him now. Phew, close one. I thought that creeper was gonna explode the last second. Crap, another zombie mob. There it is again. Another carrot that the zombie dropped. And... I don't even know how long this is gonna go on for. I mean, what's next? Oh wait, I'm still alive. Hey. Not for long, loser. It's time to Fujitsu you. Oh what? First Alex died, but now Sam. I mean, how many other reporters are we going to lose in one day? Anyway, this next request from Sunny Gilly, again, says, Fujitsu Witch and Roblox Ads comes back. Too late. The normal witch already killed the Fujitsu Witch, so if she comes back again, we'll let the police columns deal with her. End of statement. Alright, two more requests to go. This one from Rory says, interview with an upside down villager. Fine, I'll talk to this woman right here. Anyway hi there, do you always have to be upside down? Well, yes. Sometimes I like to fool around with my brain, and the only reason why is because I gained the same abilities that Dinnerbone has. When I put my upside down goggles in my eyes, I immediately see everything upside down. Well, are you gonna say anything else? Sorry about the pause, but as I was saying, I asked people to try out the upside down goggles, and they loved it. You're gonna love it too once I ask you to wear it. Here. Whoa, no way. I'm actually upside down. This is like I'm about to fall to the ceiling or something. Hilton, what the hell are you doing? You're not supposed to wear those goggles. It makes me sick. Oh, come on. It's fun. You should better try out. What the? Oh my god. Help me. I'm stuck in the ceiling. I can't get down. <laughs> I'm so evil. Armed police. No. <laughs> Why? Well, geez. I guess we know who was responsible for this. And finally, this is the last request for today. This one was actually sent in by a fictional person, known as Amy Monroe 
who is from Southland, New Zealand. It says, Hey Milton, can you tell me what's the name of the editor from the editor's room? I always wonder what his name was. Well in that case, I'm going to tell you what his name is. It's, wait for it wait for it, Graham Porter. Yup you heard me, Graham Porter is the unnamed editor's real name. You have been wondering what his real name is, but now you finally know. Anyway, that's, well, pretty much does it for today's news. It's been fun, but now it's time to say goodnight for now. We'll be no back at the same place and time next week, and hopefully Graham will come back once he gets better. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. This video was part of G4P TV Super Saturdays. Super Saturdays, the perfect way to kick off the weekend.